Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot. We're gonna be going around trying some food, riding some rides, getting some drinks. It's my friend's birthday, so we're gonna be meeting up with her, and then we're gonna hop over to Hollywood Studios and continue our birthday celebrations. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is a beautiful Florida day today. It's April 15th and it's 90 degrees outside. And as soon as we walk in the park, I notice Goofy and Pluto are greeting guests over here. And it's only two more days away before regular character meet and greets come back. So we don't even know if they're gonna be here after uh, Monday. It's kind of fun. I remember at one time, Epcot was like my favorite park to come for character meet and greets. They had so many different unique character meet and greets. They have Baymax here, they have Joy and Sadness, and you can meet Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto all in one building. It was really awesome. So I'm excited to see what characters come back. And now I think we're gonna check the wait times and kind of plan out the day a little bit. It looks like today is going to be a pretty busy day. As you can see, Spaceship Earth is a 15 minute wait. Test Track is 65. Frozen is 75. Mission Space is 90 minutes. 90 minutes for Mission Space. And Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is 110 minutes. I don't know what's happening in this world where Mission Space has a longer wait time than Soren and Test Track. That's mind blowing. Like what's going on over there? And before my friends get here, I think I'm going to get something to eat, grab something a little quick, a little quick snack. You know what I mean? They already went to brunch at homecoming and I'm so sad that I missed it, but I couldn't get to the park until later on in the day. And uh, now we got to figure out where we want to eat. Look at this, as I was walking back to World Showcase, I found an Encanto photo pass. Look at, this is the photo right here. Wow, that looks so cool. I think I might stop and do it. Up to the sky, just like that, yep. And give me a big smile and hold that right here to the camera. That should be a fun little photo pass. I'll add it in if I get it by the time I edit it. Sometimes when you do the magic shots, they take a while to actually hit your My Disney experience, but I'll add it in. And now we're gonna head to World Showcase and maybe get some food from some of the outdoor kitchens. One of my favorite food items from the Flower and Garden Festival this year was the char-grilled bison ribeye, but that menu is over because they actually do seasonal menus. So you can see the char-grilled bison ribeye ended April 9th, and the new menu item started April 10th, and that is a grilled vegetable bruschetta, an herb-crusted spring lamb, which sounds good, and then a strawberry rhubarb upside-down cake. I'm definitely going to try all of those, and I can't wait until May because they have a barbecue barbecue seared pork tenderloin. Wow. A lot of people really love that bison ribeye and it's sad to see it go, but I'm excited to see what the new items taste like. Maybe they're good. And it was a favorite for a lot of people, not just me. Like so many of my friends are like, did you try the bison ribeye? So uh, now there's something new, a new something to try. Right here at the Farmer's Feast. Like I said, they have the grilled vegetable bruschetta. We'll get that. We'll get the uh, crusted spring lamb. And then also the strawberry rhubarb upside down cake. It all sounds amazing. I don't know if any of these are different. Uh, it looks like they have a raspberry lemon sparkling hard tea. Maybe we'll try a little bit of that as well. Holy moly, that rhubarb pie, that looks good. Oh man. And the icing there. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's whipped cream? Yeah, it's whipped cream. Oh, look at that. It's better. It's I know, it's like even better. It just melts when it hits the hot. Wow. <laughs> all right, well, here it all is. We got the uh, herb crusted spring lamb with marble potatoes, spring vegetables, and then red wine butter sauce on there. That looks really good. And then here is the uh, vegetable bruschetta. And this has marinated peppers, zucchini, squash, goat cheese, and then balsamic lays. And then of course, probably the thing I'm most excited for, that is the strawberry rhubarb upside down cake with whipped cream. Look at this. Doesn't that look amazing? All of it looks really good. And then also I got the, uh, the uh, spiced or the uh, hard tea. This looked, I, I can't remember what was on. It's not in the menu there, but I think it was some type of raspberry. It just looks like flower and garden-ish. Now, all of these items are gonna be available here at the Farmer's Feast until May 22nd, and then it's gonna switch again. So hopefully they're not as good as the ribeye and everyone's gonna be upset when it's gone. 
we're going to start with the lamb and I'm just going to pick it up and bite it because it's on a bone. But I can't wait to try these potatoes, the marble potatoes. They look phenomenal. So we're just going to start with this. Look at that. It looks amazing, doesn't it? A little lamby, lamby, lamb. Oh, that's pretty good. The crust is what makes this really stand apart, though. It is so good. I love it. I wish I can actually take some of that crust off. Now we're going to try the potatoes because these look good, too. Just to give you guys a little insight, all of this food cost me $17, and that was $5 for the drink. So $17 is not bad. I feel like these are really good portions. And now we're going to try the potato. Oh, yeah. Potatoes are really good. <laughs> now we're going to dive into the bruschetta. And you can see the goat cheese on there and the zucchini and the peppers. There's a lot, some squash. And I'm just going to pick it up and take a bite out of it out of the side here. I mean, I could cut it, but I don't think that would work too good. If you cut it, it's just going to, you're going to lose all the toppings. Either way, this is something that is kind of difficult to eat. But, I mean, we're going for it. Mmm. There is no right way of eating this. Because even when I took a bite off this, everything fell apart. But I love the zucchini and the squash and the peppers. And then the bread itself, they actually grill the bread right on the grills outside. I'm going to try to cut it now. But cutting it really doesn't make any sense. Yeah, see, it, I don't know. It doesn't work that well. Then you have to kind of like build it back together. Maybe that's what we'll do. Take a little zucchini, a little peppers. There we go. There we go. Let's get over here. Excellent. And then bada bing, bada boom. I love fire roasted zucchini. I love it. I just love zucchini in general. So this is really something that I would definitely get again. I probably would get this again more than the lamb. The lamb was okay, but it's nothing compared to that bison ribeye. Nothing. Also, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I mean, I don't like ciders in general. Uh, and this kind of gives me a cider taste to it. Even though it's a tea, I'm not... Uh, I, I definitely probably wouldn't get this one again. It does look pretty though. It looks really pretty for Flower and Garden. But let's get down to business. Let's get down to the strawberry rhubarb cake business here. Look at this. Oh my lanta. That looks so amazing, doesn't it? We gotta get all that whipped cream in there. Perfect. Here we go. The bite we've been looking forward to. Okay. That is too good. That is much too good. Mmm. I love this. This might take the spot from my new favorite like dessert at the festival. I highly suggest this. Especially if you like rhubarb, you know? Well, that was a good spot to grab something quick to eat. But where I'd like to eat is actually in the Connections Eatery. And by the looks of it right here, I bet you this is going to open up within the next week. Like they took down the construction walls right there. This is the first time I've been able to see this side of the entranceway. And I'm excited. There's going to be a lot of good food. I've already looked over the menu. Since we're actually over here by Test Track, I think it would be fun to actually go over and check the wait time and maybe ride. Maybe go up the single rider line. Looks like the standby wait is 55 minutes and it's outside. So that seems like a very long, long wait. We're gonna try the single rider line, but it doesn't look good either. We'll see once we get in there, 55 minutes. Right now it is 321. And also I have a software update tonight. Hi Gracie. So far the single rider line is looking really good. This is the lightning lane here. But if it stops somewhere before we actually get up here, then it's gonna be a long wait. But honestly, I think we're in the clear. Oh, we are super in the clear. Nice! <laughs> I left you behind. Look at this. Wow, I am so excited. This is a walk on here. Oh, we really lucked out. Seriously, holy moly. Hello. Thank you. This is incredible. This is literally, I have never, like this is faster than the lightning lane, faster than anything. And I'm letting the camera just go. <laughs> Total wait time, 53 seconds. 53 seconds and we're here. 
I have never just walked on the single rider for test track like that before, especially in the middle of the afternoon when the standby is a 55 minute wait. Here we go. I think we're gonna have to take these precious beauties off. Awesome was that it's not every day you can do test track in 56 seconds like that's crazy it's unheard of actually like normally sometimes like at night it's gonna be like that but never in the middle of the afternoon and there's a 55 standby wait like that is crazy but I'm so happy we went when we did now I guess we're gonna make our way into world showcase look at some of the pretty flowers maybe hit up another booth or two and find our friends I'm thinking about maybe getting something more to eat. The uh, lamb was good, but it was like kind of small. You know what I mean? It was a good portion for the price, but uh, it was only like one little tiny lamb thing. So maybe we'll try something else around the uh, festival area. You know, it's kind of funny because I haven't really gotten anything else from Flower and Garden since the opening day. I tried a little bit from every single booth, but I don't remember coming across the crispy mojo marinated pork belly. And that comes with avocado cream and corn salsa. So I might actually get that. I might give it a go. I think we're going to dive right on in here. I'm going to grab a little bit of the pork belly and then a little bit of the avocado cream too. Add a little bit all right on there perfect that's the bite it looks really good though like I, I when i first got it i was like okay i was expecting like a whole gigantic piece of pork belly but i kind of like the way they presented it so here we go mm. i like it a lot mm. there's definitely a little spice there but not much a very mild mild spice i don't even know what it's from maybe the avocado or the salsa varda but i like it it is really good I have no idea how I missed this on opening day. Like, it's something I would have definitely ordered if I saw it, but I don't even know what I got from Citrus Blossom on opening day. I might have not got anything. Now that we just had some really good pork belly, I think I need a little pick-me-upper. So, came over to Starbucks, and I'm thinking about getting this ice toasted vanilla oat milk shaken espresso. Ice toasted vanilla oat milk shaken espresso. That is a lot of words for a drink, isn't it? Cheerfully chill. I think it sounds good. As I'm waiting in line at Starbucks, I was looking at the back of my leg and I realized that like my Florida tan is out of control. So you can see my legs and I always wear shorts. And wait till you see this tan line. Hold on. I don't think you're ready for this. <laughs> Look at that. That is crazy. <laughs> it might be a little bit better on this side, but look at that. <laughs> 
I am just permanently Florida tan, including my face and my arms. Like, look at this. <laughs> and especially down here, like, in my arm area, that's another spot. But anywho, enough with the tan. Let's try the coffee here. And uh, I'm excited. I've never had this before. Ooh, I like this. Oh, oh wow. This might be my new go-to drink. This is really, really good. And I got myself a little Mickey too. Very, very classy or fancy. I decided to grab my coffee and go walk over and sit down and enjoy it over by World Showcase Lagoon in my favorite little spot. And I can't believe there's never anybody over here. Walking around World Showcase, you barely ever find open space. But look at this, it's always like this too. Especially, well, not until later on when it becomes a firework viewing area. But like right now during the day, everyone's over there, the hustle and bustle, and you get a nice little quiet section over here. You can listen to the music, stare out at World Showcase Lagoon. Just love it. Just me, my coffee, harmonious, and the ducks living our best Epcot day right here. What's that duck doing over there? Kind of get sad when they don't come up to me thinking I'm going to give them something. Even though I'm not going to give them anything because you shouldn't feed the wildlife. But I still get really happy when they come running up to me. Now I think we're going to make our way over to Mexico. That's where I'm going to meet up with my friend Beth. It's her birthday today. If you guys don't know Beth, uh, she's a friend. She's been in the videos before. Her and her husband have a channel called Villains Advice. And uh, maybe get a margarita. It's also going to be nice to get out of the sun. Like, <laughs> it is now the sun is just beating down. It's not hot. Like, the humidity is not high. But direct sun for a long period of time. And that's not good. Now that we've gotten our official birthday margarita for Beth, we didn't sit down at the table, but we were just catching up. Uh, we came back out, and now we're going to continue through World Showcase. But it is so strange when you're inside the Mexico Pavilion, because everything looks like night, to come back out and it be daylight, and you're like, Ugh. it always happens to me. Walking from Germany to America has got to be one of the hottest areas in the park. Look, the sun is like beating at you right here got to put my hand up to block it but I think Boston is playing for the Garden Rocks up here I can hear it look at that though Tommy DiCarlo singer of the band Boston 415 to 416 might as well just step right on in here <laughs> oh Epcot you could just be walking around and then stumble upon the lead singer of Boston singing one of the greatest songs ever like I love it we stopped into the art of Disney store and look at this mr. toads wild ride shirt I have never seen anything so amazing as this right here I want it so bad but it doesn't look like they have anything in my size looks like they only have small medium and large but look at that oh wow this is so cool and I love Mr. Toad's Wild Ride because this was one of the attractions that I miss so much here in Disney. But I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I'm going to be riding it very soon. Very, very soon. And look at this Jessica Rabbit one right here. I can't even believe this. It's $7,000, but it looks so nice. It reminds me of Michael Scott and the uh, neon sign that he had in his living room. Like, I can you imagine having this neon sign? $7,000 though. Drawn this way. This is a one of a kind actually though. So that's pretty, that's pretty, you know, impressive. 
how awesome would it be to have Jessica's like picture in your living room? I would keep it in the living room. I think it is really cool, especially with those lights. But now I think we're gonna stop here at Magnolia Terrace and we're gonna get ourselves a beer flight. I remember this is like my favorite beer flight of the festival last time uh, we were here for the first day of Flower and Garden. Got myself a little flight here and we're gonna go find a picnic table to sit down and drink. Like, look at these though. They look light, but they're really, really good. I remember. And like, I can't, I couldn't remember what exactly the beers were, but I know I was like, hey, this was the one. This looks like my The double IPA for Beth. Oh, I love that. See, I knew you were gonna like it. That's what I said. I was like, wait till you get to the double IPA. Yep. I knew it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but... oh, you're on it. it starts off light and then a little bit lighter and then it just jumps to the double IPA. I'm going to jump right into the double IPA though. It's going straight in. <laughs> As we were finishing up our beer flights, which by the way, I love. I love that uh, IPA. Uh, Boston came back on. So, I mean, we're here. Might as well watch a little Boston. my mind every single time but it's time to move along we can continue around world showcase and uh, yeah just kind of have fun <laughs> we've made our way over to the garden house because it's kind of like a little tradition to get ourselves a super dry so we're gonna get ourselves an Asani super dry and this is a really good beer that I always love to get it actually has a special little machine too oh super dry look at that Awesome. And then here is the violet sake. I, I don't want to say violent, but it's violet. And then the Tokyo Sunset and the Sparkling Dragon. But all about the super dry. Yeah. <laughs> we got a cheers to Beth. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Cheers. Happy birthday. cheers. There it is. The best drink ever. <laughs> I really don't know how to explain super dry. It is really good, but it, it has like that taste afterwards it's, it's a very good drink though i love it and uh yeah it's really hard to explain like i can't give you a, a good like uh example of what it tastes like but it is super dry <laughs> now that we've got our super dry i think we're gonna make our way to france and ride remy's ratatouille it's something i kind of haven't done in a while and you know today's a fun day so i think we're gonna go for it so cheers cheers to super dry it looks so pretty over here, uh, like as the lights are turning on and the sun is setting. You can see the Gusto sign up there, and then of course Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Very, very pretty. All right, we're heading in, and I got my glasses on. Just about to shrink down and be a little rat. I don't know, who do you think we're gonna get, Remy or Emil? We're gonna get Remy? Oh, oh, oh. No, we're in the same we're in the same rat. Why are we both Remy? There's Remy right there. Is this Remy too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, we're Remy. Nice. Ooh, here we go. Hi. Yeah, there's a doggy in the window. All right, we're heading in. Look, the pizza planer truck's up there in the window to the right. A simple omelet? Too simple. What? May we? That's it? Oh. Oh, it is. 
Amazing. Uh oh, it's stuck. <laughs> They're having a tough time with that cork. Come on. Oh, there we go. Au revoir. <laughs> well that was great to ride Remy's but we walked in it was daylight now we're walking out and it's dark <laughs> so I think we're gonna park hop we're gonna jump from here in Epcot over to Hollywood Studios and uh, maybe go to Ogre's Canteen you know a little more birthday celebration Look at this though, as we're making our way out, I'm sure it's a little bit windy. Look at that moon. I'm gonna try to zoom in for you. It doesn't even look real, right? That is beautiful. Everybody's racing from the Skyliner because we have a reservation at Olga's, but that's not till 9.40. The park closes at nine and it is 8.50. So we have to get in the park within the next 10 minutes just so we can show up to our reservation 40 minutes later. Look, is that crazy? It's so strange coming into a park where everybody's leaving and we're just walking in now and the park's closing in just a couple minutes. Because, you know, uh, technically Savi's Workshop and Olga's Canteen both have uh, reservations up to an hour after the park closes. So, like, we're not even the last reservation. Ours is at, like, 940, but I think there's more after that. I'm not too sure. But we're going to go and just see if we can get in early because... You know what I mean? We can't do anything else. This is kind of really cool just walking through here. Nobody's in here. It's a completely empty park. We're making our way just straight back to Ogres because like I said, even though our reservation isn't until 9.40, I mean, if we could get in earlier, that would be great. You know what I mean? Uh, but we'll see. You never know. It's cool seeing everything in here though. Everything's shut down and people just walking through, but you can't really do anything. All the rides are done, all the stores are done, so you're just wandering around. Hardest working droid in Galaxy's Edge though. He's literally in here all night long roasting meats. They don't shut him off, he just keeps going all night long. And it looks like they're letting us in 40 minutes early. Look at that, there's a lot of people here though. Like The park is officially closed and all these people are actually just going into Ogre's Canteen. We're headed in and I think we have a big enough party so we might actually get our table and I've never had a table in here before I've always just stood it's be bopping though I tell you that oh wow we didn't get a booth we actually got the bar which is really fancy normally I think I would go with the fuzzy tauntaun but I think I'm gonna get the biz pin fizz you know have like yeah a little bit like that you know yeah, inspired by this right here. But Beth, you're gonna get the fuzzy tom tom, right? I, I always. 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 <laughs> Somebody I was with last time inhaled it. Like they, they got it up their nose and it was really weird. Yeah. Look at this, they're putting together my Bispin Fizz right now. It's gonna come over a little bubbly. Oh wow. I love it. Thank you. Wow, look at this. Well, we got a cheers here, guys. Cheers. Cheers. It really doesn't stop. 
tells you John Tyler, once again, be very careful with that foam, okay? This is very difficult to drink because every time I take a sip, it's like I'm vaping. Watch. So here, so you see? Some venom? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Trying some venom. I don't like that. That's weird. So fresh patty wart frog eggs. Patty wart frog eggs. Straight from the tank up there. Oh boy. Alright. Anybody else want to try some patty wog eggs? A spoonful of eggs. Uh, did you get some too? Yeah. The ones I got were, Oh, I like them. The ones I got were blueberries. Did you get blueberries? Yeah, they're very delicious yeah, blueberries. Wow. I like that. And for us to actually head out, looks like we've got some uh, foam from the fuzzy tom tom. I know, just the foam though. Looks like DJ Rex might be kicking us out here. Look at I've never seen it so empty in here. How cool is this? She's eating that foam like it's nothing. You how you're gonna be so numb. You like the dentist. <laughs> Look at this. We didn't tell you two days. No, two weeks. No, two, two weeks. weeks. How could you be doing this like this? So Stop! What is wrong with you? We're all leaving Olga's right now with some of the foam from the fuzzy tonton. They just gave us cups of foam. Like that could be dangerous, and Beth is just eating it. Wow, doesn't it look so cool walking through here at night? Look at this. We're like King of Hollywood Studios. I do. Yeah. King and Queen of Hollywood. Yeah, it's like crazy. Look at this. This is so cool walking out like this. Not a single person. Well, now that we have Hollywood Studios all to ourselves. I think we're gonna call it a night. Like this has been an epic day. I had so much fun and I'm happy I brought you guys along with me. The light from the screen for the wait times is actually going on and off. Kind of looks like headlights. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Happy birthday to Beth. Make sure you guys check out our channel. I'll put a link in the description. I'm glad we got to celebrate together and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. One last look though as we walk out. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> I don't think we can go over to the Tower of Terror right now because I think they already have that closed off. But we're not even the last people leaving the park. There were still people in Olga's and there were still people, I think, coming out from Savi's. So it's pretty crazy.